Hey guys, it's me Vibo here and as you can see from the title of this video it's about me uh, coming out to you guys and to everyone else. Gosh, it's a serious topic isn't it? I cannot even have a little sarcasm. Really? It is really difficult. It's effing difficult for me to do this because I'm just thinking and just like what how you guys gonna react, how other people who know me gonna react. But in the end, I don't give. I don't fucking give a damn. I'm done with that shit. I'm done with giving damn to people who don't deserve it. If it's effing 2015 and if you still give, if you are still homophobic, then you need to change your opinion. First time I realized that I was attracted to boys was in 6th grade and it was like scary. I was scared. What, how are people gonna think? Am I a freak? How is my family going to react? How my friends are gonna react? And what not. I was like scared. I was not comfortable at the, uh, with this at that time and I would always pretend that I had a crush on girls and, and what not. I was afraid. So I stuffed myself in a closet too small for me to hide myself, my true self from other people. It was claustrophobic. It was depressing but I did that. When you're growing up as something different in a heteronormative society and especially in a country like India. Be mindful of censoring yourself all the time. You're minding your words all the time, censoring yourself. And it's ridiculous and very, very tiring. I know that. I've done that 17 years of my life. I know how tiring and how frustrating it is to not be able to be yourself. So I'm in part making this video for myself, but I'm also making this to, for others, others like me. Means growing up, I never had a representation of myself in mainstream media. I never had that. I could not have this one Indian actor who I can relate to or some book, Indian book I can relate to. I never had that. I had American stuff. Yes, everyone has that. But Indian, no. It was just depressing. Growing up was depressing for me. People were always calling me names. You know, the silly ones that confuse gender identity with sexual identity. Yes, they did that. I never realized how difficult it will be to accept myself until I was like searching and searching internet for people like me screwed up, fucked up society that condoned people to hide themselves and suffer through years of depression, frustration and ultimately kill themselves rather than being themselves. That's how screwed up society was. Um, right now, yes I'm afraid. I'm afraid of posting this video. I don't know whether I will post this video because I'm afraid how people are going to react to me, how people are going to see me from now. I means I have always been this way. It's your perception about me that is changing. But they're still going to have a talk about how I'm a freak of nature or something like that. And But I want to be true to myself. And there are many kids like me who are just like depressed and doing stuff they shouldn't be doing at this age just because screwed up society fools them into that I just want to tell them that we will always have our voices shut down, silenced but it's upon us to voice our uh, shout for our freedom no one else will stand up for you. I mean, some people will stand up with you, but no, not everyone. You have to raise your voice for others and yourself. So, I'm afraid, yes, but I'm raising my voice for others like me and for myself too.
I don't give a shit about what people are. People are gonna, I seriously feel sorry for people who are gonna keep on uh, commenting below about the morality of homosexuality rather than seeing that nature exhibit this on regular basis and it never questions, never has a debate on this fucking topic but we humans have to have that, right? Because we just have to have a label on everything, we just have to question everything, we just have to quote a small passage from a fucking 5000 year old book to imprison people who don't deserve that. That's how fucked up we are. I don't know how to edit this video or how I'm gonna edit this video but I'm just babbling right now. In my uh, freshman year of my high school, there was this teacher, bio teacher and she, uh, one person in my class asked her uh, looking very crazily at me that how do sissy men have sex and she was like she realized that they were trying to humiliate me so I was actually very surprised when she stood up for me she actually sat to hold up the glass there are people who like same sex but there's nothing wrong about that you have to give them credit because they face discrimination every day and they still stand up. So I was literally smiling and just happy at that moment, elated, means really happy. Because someone at last has stood up for me. I've given up hope on anyone to stand up for me. She was the first teacher to actually debate on this topic. So I was really thankful and happy for her. But there are other people too, means like in sophomore year, one friend of mine said that I have to quit up my ways of effeminacy uh, so that the others won't believe me because he said that my life is going to be tough because of who I am. So I have to change myself so I can do not get bullied. Bullies don't have to change themselves. We, the victims, have to change ourselves. That's what he said. And Actually, I'm done with this. You know why I'm doing this right now? Because I have so many friends who have just spoken out in such a homophobic outburst that I'm done with it. I am not going to just sit there next to you in the car while you curse Neil Patrick Harrison as a freak. And I'm sitting next to you and just like listening and nodding and laughing. I cannot do that anymore. I will stand up for my rights from now on. You can just call me at the face value faggot, but I will stand up to you. In a way, I hope that most of my friends would stick by me, but the others who won't, I won't be missing you. I won't be missing homophobic people. And I think that those people who are actually like me and are actually seeing this, I really want to encourage you not to come out of closet. That's your decision and at your time. But to have support for human rights and this is human rights unless you can actually prove we are not humans I have 23 pairs of chromosome and you have two so I'm a human and my rights are human rights you cannot just chalk me off like a inhuman I am not a freak I'm human I stand up for human rights all human rights why can't you? Why can't you give me my rights? I have never hurt a soul, but people who have hurt others get less than me. It means literally, Section 377 is a law that criminalizes people like me. So you can see, I have never hurt a soul, but you all, the ones who are my so called friends, have again and again hurt me with your words. They have people spitted on me. People have called me names. And they were like people mocking me. People have mocked me all my life like freak, freak, freak. I'm done with it. I revel in it. I'm a different but who would want to be ordinary? I don't want to be ordinary. I am not ordinary. You can be one of those assembly line people but I'm not. I'm special. And I know it. And I fucking own it. To all those who are uh, watching this. And I would really love for you all to show your support by 
sharing this on Twitter and Facebook and just showing other people that this is normal, that this is me and people like me should not just be hurt because who they are. People, the society is hurting us but we should not be hurt that bad. So, um, it's difficult. I, no one is born racist, homophobic or xenophobic. No one is born like that. Society makes them, society conditions them. You're not born homophobic, but you are born homosexual and not a sin. I would really like to thank all of those who will stick by me after this video.